Hey, good afternoon again. We're here on October 31st, and we're just here to do our daily devotion. Welcome to our daily devotion. I'm Reverend Parker here at uh, 1620 Sonoma Avenue at Community Baptist Church here in Santa Rosa, California. We just want to thank you for joining us again for another daily devotion, another word from God who daily feeds us. Thank you, Lord, for your daily bread. And so we want to just continue to just do the will of the Father and continue to spread the good news of Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God, the good news of the gospel. And we just want to be about his business, amen? And so we'll just jump into this lesson, this devotion here. And I'll, we'll start out with uh, scripture and then prayer. Here we go. And I'll be reading Psalms 100. And I got the King James Version, but whatever version you have, read along with me. And it says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and we not ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name <clears throat> for the lord is good his mercy is everlasting and the truth endures to all generations i've just read psalms 100 in its entirety blessed to the hearing and reading of his most holy word let us pray heavenly father once again we want to thank you for blessing us with another day father god yes lord you've led us along the way we want to say thank you for watching over us again last night, Lord, and thank you for waking us up again, Lord, to breathe your air, Father God. Thank you for the daily bread that you provided for us, oh Lord, and that's your word. Lord, there's nothing we can do without you, Father God. We thank you, oh Lord, for the adoption that you've given to each and every one of us, oh Lord. Yes, the adoption into your kingdom, Father God, to your son, Jesus the Christ. Father God, we ask for forgiveness of our sins, as we lift our pastor up to you, Father God, we ask you to strengthen him and build him up where he's torn down, Father God. We ask, Father God, that you continue to be with Sister Maria and her family, Lord. Continue to just show favor in her life, Father. Continue to build her up, strengthen her, God, to continue to do the work you have to uh, have her to do in this ministry, Father. We ask you to be with Sister Shabbat, Father God, and continue to be with her, strengthen her, and continue to lead her and guide her in the way to go. Father, we ask you to be with Brother Jim Kennedy, Lord, as you continue to give him that portion of health that he needs to do the will of the Father. Father God, I just ask you to continue to be with my family, Lord, and me, and continue to just, uh, Lord, download it to me what you would have me to say and have me to do. Father God, you know uh, exactly what you would have each and every one of us to do. So, Father God, continue to be with us. Bless all Community Baptist members, Father God, and all those who watch the devotion, Father God, be with them strengthen them. Lord, we pray all of this in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen and amen. And so we'll get into this lesson. We're coming from Mark uh, chapter 3, verse 35, and it reads, For whosoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother. And then it says here, the name of this lesson of the de uh, devotion is when your family doesn't understand you. Ooh, good one. When your family doesn't understand you. The Bible says Jesus was surrounded by the crowd when he uh, was given the message. Your mother and brothers and sisters are outside looking for you. Jesus responded, who do you think are my mother and brothers? Looking around, taking in everyone seated around him, he said, right here, right in front of you, my mother, my brothers, obedience is thicker than blood. The person who obeys God's will is my brother and sister and mother. Verses 31 through 35. One of your greatest tests of faith will be family members who don't understand you or share your value and vision. And it all calls for wisdom and grace on your part. Despite his family's inability to understand him, Jesus continued to care for them and respect them. However, he refused to let them dictate to him 
or alter the assignment he believed God had given him. His priority was the people who had gathered to hear what he had to say. Are you feeling misunderstood and rejected by your family today? Then pray this prayer. Father, help me to live as Jesus lived, facing head on those who misunderstand me, hearing the, their words and feeling the sting of their accusations, yet learning to live above them. Help me to be gracious toward the ones whose life is being consumed by resentment and crippled by fear bringing me full circle to a place of peace so that no matter who may misunderstand me, I'm able to go on like Jesus went on, all the way to the cross, the resurrection and the pride. In Christ's name I pray, amen. And that's another great devotion that we do run into that situation. If you're been a Christian anytime you know that you have unbelievers in your family and the unbelievers are going to be the one that mock you and tell you most of the time um, who do you think you are you think you're so holy and mighty and the question is I don't I know that I am but I don't think that um, and so you need to have the ability to do what Jesus did. Uh, he said, anyone who uh, shall do the will of God was his brother and his sister. Because we're all then adopted, as it says in Ephesians um, three, 1 and 3, I mean, 1 and, excuse me, 1 and, excuse me, quickly, quickly, quickly. One in five, having predestinated us unto the adoption of the children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, through the adoption. We all been adopted into uh, our Lord and Savior, and we should be thankful that we're, he's calling us brothers and sisters. And we call one another's brothers and sisters because we want to hear what thus says the Lord. We want to know what thus says the Lord. And we will. Lord, and we want to do what thus says the law, Lord, excuse me. And so, yes, family members will not understand if they haven't received Christ. Um, but your wisdom and your grace that God is giving you, you'll be able to uh, share a kind word, even in the midst of it, to look above it, to focus on things above and not on the things below, and knowing that. God is with you um, wherever you're going, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, God will always, he already said that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So God is with us no matter what we're going through and no matter or what people are saying, um, you are part of God's family. You are a part, uh, um, you are his adopted brothers and sisters. And to do the will of God is, the best thing we can ever do because you know when you agree with God you get everything everything you could possibly want because God has everything everything is here so if you're agreeing with touching and agreeing with God and you are part of the family uh, we were reading in Romans uh, chapter 8 that we are heirs just like Christ is heirs an heir to the throne. We are heirs and that we are through the adoption of Jesus Christ. And I thank our Lord for adopting each and every one of us. And so what this teaches us is that we don't have to be consumed with resentment or crippled by the fear, um, but we can have that peace that goes beyond their understanding. We have that knowledge to know that everything's going to be all right, no matter what, what's going on. You know. Uh, the most important thing is, is just to continue to uh, feed yourself on this word of God, to continue to, to have a hunger and a thirst for this word, you know, because that's what God would have us to do. And then to go out and tell somebody about who Jesus Christ is and what he's already done for us. And so we can just continue um, 
Uh, there's so much more in this, but you know, it says obedience is thicker than blood. And so we have to understand that obedience to our Lord and our God, our Savior, is more important uh, than your own blood, your flesh and blood, because your new blood is in Christ Jesus. And so you need to understand that no matter what they're saying and how they're ridiculing you or trying to put you down, it's all good uh, because you know uh, where you're headed. And so we can just continue to just pray. Uh, and we, we know that in the life to come, um, we'll be new, we already are new creatures. And so we are not of this world, but we're in it. So we're going to go through some things. Jesus told us we're going to have trials and tribulation. And the, your people of influence around you is what uh, is the one that I give you most trouble, pretty much. Um, but we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers in high places. And so we need to understand that it's not their fault that they don't understand it. It's their, it's their, because in uh, 2 Corinthians, ooh, I'm going to close out to this, uh, 2 Corinthians 4, 2, excuse me, 2 and 4, I think it is. Uh, 2 Corinthians, hold on. Oh, excuse me. Second Corinthians chapter four, verses four, excuse me. And it reads, In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. And so you got to understand they're walking around with blinded minds. And that's what uh, the devil does. He's blinded. He, we were all blinded at one time. But thank God. Thank God for God not giving up on us. And so we're all part of the family. And it's a great to know that we are all a part of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so I'm going to end it there and ask you to just come back again. And let's have some more daily devotion time. Let's spend some time with God. Amen. It's only a few moments. So let's spend some time with God. Amen. And God bless.